Uh, for the last couple of months, I've been running this aquarium using tap water. Now, I'm thinking about changing to using RO water for my top-ups and my water changes, particularly since I work in an aquarium shop, so it's pretty easy for me to bring home RO water, which is inconvenient for other people. So, the question is if I change to RO water, what can I expect? Now, at the moment, my Anubius is looking lovely. In general, my rock fern looks okay. The Ambulia and the water sprite has pretty much been destroyed by the fish. There's not much algae in the aquarium. I've got a flying fox and I've got a little placostomus in there somewhere. I've got a little bit of hair algae, green hair algae, and the blackbeard's pretty much gone. I did have a lot of blackbeard, but the uh, easy carbo certainly got rid of that in coordination with the flying fox, Siamese algae eater. So all in all, I'd say the tank is doing pretty well, particularly for high, how high populated it is. There's quite a lot of fish buzzing around in here. So, um, I've lost the odd fish jumping out because this is an open top tank. And the disadvantage of an open top tank is the odd fish goes and jumps out. But all in all, for the very limited amount of maintenance that this tank has required um, these filters are super easy to clean hardly ever do it but when i do it, it takes me like one minute so if i change to ro water what can i expect anyway put a little note on the bottom of this video and let me know do you use ro water for your water changes or do you use tap water? Obviously, this is not a um, not a consistent question because different people's tap water is going to be worse than other people's tap water. So anyway, looking at this aquarium, have a put a little note on the bottom of this video and tell me if I change to RO water I'm going to do my first RO water change now and let me know what difference do you think from your experience that I'm going to see in this tank RO versus tap water